Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Okay, okay, a lot of you have been asking about gear and what stuff do I use. I didn't want to talk about this because I don't want to make this vlog like a technical vlog, but you've been asking, so I'm gonna talk about it today, but now I'm kind of super late for a meeting. <laughs> So I've been working today with Upfront, my client, and it's actually pretty nice to, you know, take a break from thinking about Prospero and dealing with something else, and then you can go back into working on it with, you know, fresh mind. Anyway, before I go into talking about gear and tools and stuff like that, I want to tell you why I actually think it's kind of an absurd question. All right, let's say I have a time machine and I go back in time to the Renaissance to meet the greatest artist, Leonardo da Vinci. What's up, Leo? I love your drawings. Your stuff is really awesome. Listen, I have to know, what canvas do you use and where do you get those great paints? Do you get the point? I'm not saying I'm Leonardo da Vinci, but the point is, Tools don't matter so much. If I would have a chance to meet Leonardo da Vinci, I would ask him stuff like, how did you came up with the concept of having those drawings? How did you create the effect like uh, Mona Lisa is looking at you no matter where you stand in the room? And did you actually dig up people's grave to learn about anatomy? You know, I would ask about his process and about his conceptual uh, way of thinking because the tools don't actually matter and don't actually what makes him a great artist. So the point is, I'll tell you what tools I'm working on, but that's not the real question you should be asking. What you should be asking is how I think and how I, you know, do the process and how I try to, you know, create new ideas. That's what matters. All right, let's get started. The most popular question I get is what sketchbook do I use? And this is the, uh, the sketchbook with the grid. Uh, as you can see, the little grid and the to-do list. This is the uh, Behance Action Journal that you can get from Behance. I actually don't like this notebook so much. I think it's a bit too bulky. The, I don't like the hardcover. I think the to-do list takes too much space that you can't really sketch. i much rather have uh, those moleskin, little moleskin uh, notebooks with like plain papers. And it's really lightweight, you can take it. And I much rather have it, but since I ordered like a pack of three of those uh, Behance notebooks, I'm just using it, you know, not to throw them away, but they're actually not my preferred type of sketchbooks. Second question is about what screen do I use? I use the MacBook 15 inch, uh, which I don't really work on it, and I attach it to an LG 27 uh, screen, and I use this Jambox this Jambox uh, speaker, which I hate by the way. I really think it's, it's a crappy product. Uh, nice design, but really crappy sound and everything, so I don't like it and I don't recommend it, but I have it, so I use it. So I never work on the actual laptop, so I don't care that the screen is uh, small. I always attach it uh, to a bigger screen and I just use it to take it to meetings or client presentations and stuff like that. Um, so that's the computer. Most important gear, of course, my bicycle. It's actually an electric bike. As you can see, I'm charging it right now. And it can go up to 50 kilometers, uh, which is nice. It's uh, because I'm living, I live a bit outside of the city center and I got like 10 kilometers each direction. I love the ride, so I use an electric bike because if I would have a normal bike, the summer in Israel is so hot that I would get to every meeting like, so sweaty, so I have to use an electric bike. And I love it. Vlogging camera is the Canon G7X, which I really like. I tried shooting the vlog in the beginning on a big DSLR, but it just didn't work for me. I couldn't take it outside of the house. And this one is really comfortable. The autofocus, sometimes it gets fucked up, but overall, good sound, good image quality. I like it. I actually also have this Canon DSLR for when we shoot a proper new school video. and. This is my really favorite lens. It's a 
30 millimeter 1.4 does really beautiful images I think it costs more than the body of this camera but it's really awesome I have this uh, mic um, Rode I think Pro Vid or something like that it's called in the Gorilla Pod and basically I, I used to use that stuff a lot, but since I have this new camera right now, I almost don't use it. Uh, but if we're gonna shoot another, you know, new uh, class for the new school, we're probably gonna use the proper DSLR camera. All right, let's talk about the software I use. So, obviously, I'm using the Adobe Creative Cloud, and I use Photoshop, InDesign, uh, Photoshop and Illustrator mostly. I use InDesign sometimes to do uh, business cards if I have to, and I use Premiere to edit the vlog every day. Uh, I work with Sketch as my main design tool since I'm uh, doing tons of UI design and web design and stuff like that. Um, so it's really good for that and I do use some plugins. I won't go into that uh, in depth right now, but if you are getting into Sketch, you should definitely check. They have some really, really nice uh, plugins. So second software I use the most is Spotify which uh, I always listen to music. I have tons of playlists here. And it's funny, yeah, Spotify is actually not legal in Israel, so I have to pay someone to buy me gift cards in the US and then I can use the gift cards. It's, I have to do like a total loop to be able to use that in Israel, but I love it so much I have to use it. Um, next, I'm using Envision. If you don't know Envision to mock up, uh, you know, apps and get interaction done and be able to uh, check it out on your mobile, it's awesome. Uh, I use Webflow, I talk about it all the time. It's probably my second most used uh, app that I use to build my design into actual HTML. I use Toggle to measure my time. I don't do that. Um, this much these days because I kind of have a good grasp on how long stuff takes me to complete but if I'm not sure I'm gonna use that and we use Trello to manage our uh, tasks I use it with both the new school and my clients and I'm not gonna go in depth right now about how we use it because I don't want to get too technical but and actually we didn't actually figure out a great way to work on it uh, we're still struggling with that but uh, yeah, these are the services that I use. Ah, I've been working on a lot of code today, which I don't like to do. Usually it's either not my job to do it or I do it in Webflow, but today I'm working on a client project which is already coded and I need to fix some things because the developer doesn't have time to do it. Anyway, I'm working by the way in a software called Bracket because Dreamweaver is just too heavy to edit the code. Still, I'm not enjoying it, but anyway. One last thing. Um, some of you guys have asked about this, uh, what I have on the wall here. So, so I put the graphic on Society6. Uh, if you want to get it as a poster or something, now you can. I'll put the link in the description. Anyway, tomorrow we're not going to be talking technical stuff. We're going to go back into, you know, processes and everything. Actually, tomorrow is the second episode of my story. So, never mind that. Anyway, have a great day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.